Hey, welcome to the Seven Futures Moo Cow. These tips will have you interacting with the group like a real pro. So we're going to cover some nifty things you can do with posts in the group. Nifty thing number one, use the plus one. This is a real easy way to interact, show your appreciation for the post, uh, or like it, or show that you enjoyed it. So you just click on the plus one button, and that's all there is to it. Nifty thing number two, comment. Of course, the group's all about discussing the topic at hand. So we simply type in the add a comment box to reply or comment to the poster. Um, just remember, all members of the group can read your comments. Nifty three thing number three, reply to a comment. If you mouse over a comment, a reply link will show up and you can click on that. It's kind of like a threaded discussion at this point. So you just click and then type in the box and uh, voila, you've replied to a person who's commented on a post. Note there's an X that shows up on this diagram. That will only show up if it's your comment because you can delete your own comments. It won't show up on the comments of other people unless, of course, you're an administrator of the group. Nifty thing number four, tag someone. You can really draw someone's attention to your post or your comment by tagging them. That means to, in the body of your message, type a plus symbol and then the person's name and you'll see a list come up of potential candidates as you're typing out the name and just select the person that you want to tag and uh, no space between the plus sign and the name. And what will happen is everyone will still be able to see your comment, but the person or people that you tagged will get alerted that a message was directed to them or a post was directed to them. So this is a real great way to carry on a discussion, but also bring it to someone's attention. Nifty thing number five, use hashtags. Now in this example, I've used the hashtags, hashtag tips. So you use the little pound sign and then the word that you wanna use for the hash tag and this is a way to categorize your post or refine the category right so for example i'm posting in the announcements help area but if i use the hashtag tips and every time i post a tip i use that hashtag you can click on that hashtag and find all of those posts very easily so it's a great way to really categorize content that you're adding to the group And nifty thing number six, flip a post. And this, this relates to the hashtags. As you can see in this example, there's a hashtag Sloan C on my post. And if you click on that hashtag, or any time you see a hashtag at the side of a post, it will flip over that card and show you other posts with that same hashtag that you can flip through and read and comment on. So this is a great way to explore a topic in more detail. Please note that people can add hashtags in their posts um, at will, but Google will also automatically add them to posts if they uh, note that it might be uh, something relevant. And sometimes they're inaccurate, so. Um, just be aware that people add hashtags, but also Google automatically adds them. All right. I hope you enjoy going beyond the basics with your posts and doing all those nifty things and interacting with everyone like a pro. Have fun.